Jude's brain was permanently on the go, permanently thinking, or more accurately, worrying. She could not switch off. And the big alarm bell uh, was um, when I was in a meeting. I suddenly felt completely disorientated and, and I actually felt as though I'd lost a few minutes. Didn't know what had happened. Something made me look down at my hand. There was this big swelling at the base of one of my fingers and it had gone all black and purpley. Stress pushed Jude's blood pressure through the roof. A blood vessel burst. I felt really unwell and so um, I drove off to my GP. He thought I might have had a mini stroke. And of course that terrified me. Um, but he sent me along to um, casualty at my local hospital. And, and I hadn't had a stroke, but I, I had really high blood pressure and I was in there for about five hours whilst we waited for it to come down. That was, for me, was the start of, you know, this ain't right, I've got to do something. And what she tried was a radical treatment that transformed her life. Every so often, an event occurs that allows science a rare glimpse into the very real effects stress can have on the human body. During the last Soccer World Cup, one study found that fatal heart attacks among fans increased by 60%. The researchers believed it was a direct result of increased stress levels. The buildup in blood pressure can damage the inner lining of the arteries. Fatty acids accumulate at the damaged site. Over time, they clog the arteries and starve the heart of oxygen. This can lead to a heart attack. Every time people feel vulnerable, the same damaging effects of stress can be seen. On the day of the Northridge quake in California, the coroner recorded five times more sudden cardiac deaths than would normally be expected. But stress isn't just bad for the heart, it suppresses the immune system too. In stressful situations, many of the body's normal functions are put on hold. Over time, stress hormones slow down the body's manufacture of immune cells and impairs their function. As a result, we become more susceptible to infection and disease. A massive stress response, which simultaneously affected a large group, occurred in New York. It followed the trauma of September 11, 2001. The human body's reaction to very serious physical or psychological stress, like what we experienced here in New York, on 9-11 includes a whole variety of changes and release of things like the fight or flight hormones. They circulate through the body and affect a whole variety of organs, most notably the brain and the heart. And the long-term consequences of those changes really are not known. We're thinking now that these attacks may be influencing the health of people in Manhattan and in New York City and around the world perhaps. But stress doesn't affect all of us in the same way. Science is discovering that our personality could be key in predicting why some people are more susceptible than others to the devastating effects of stress. Jude Meadows, a high-flying businesswoman, has many of the traits of what's known as a type A personality. Absolute workaholic, a problem fixer, somebody who believed that there was always a way of doing things, a real sort of can-do attitude, maybe a bit impatient as well. Type A personalities are perfectionists, impatient, ambitious, fast talkers who can't switch off. They're also more susceptible to stress. And one of the best places to study them is in the Serengeti in Africa. 